Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a packing video. So I go on holiday on Sunday, it's currently Wednesday, so I'm packing a bit early but I wanted to do it so I could get this video filmed and edited and uploaded for you guys whilst I'm away. You've probably already heard me mention on my channel that I am going skiing. I'm going for the first time ever, which is exciting and yeah, I can't wait, I'm really excited now. I'm just going to sit down actually while I talk to you so my arm doesn't ache too much. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm going with my boyfriend and his parents and they are all skiers and they've been skiing for a very long time. So I am the newbie, but I've had a couple of lessons and I'm booked into ski school the first morning of our trip. So I'm feeling good about it. After my last ski lesson, I felt very confident. I'm able to turn and obviously snow plow and stop, which is the most important thing. I was also kind of doing some drills and like lifting my leg as well whilst I was skiing. So. I feel pretty confident. I don't know how different it's going to be when I actually get on the mountain. It was real snow that I was learning on, but obviously like temperatures and stuff are different. So hopefully I get on all right. I'll make sure to update you guys when I get back. But yeah, we're going to Courchevel. We fly on Sunday morning. So I'm packing probably about three days early. So obviously I won't be able to put everything in like my toothbrush, toothpaste, my phone charger, that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna get the bulk of it done today and just shove in those last minute bits. I'm actually down in the living room sorting all this out because there's just a lot more space and it means I can lay everything out rather than it all feeling a bit cramped in my room. And I didn't wanna lay the suitcase on the bed because I'm not changing the sheets. And I didn't wanna put it on the floor either because it would be a bit difficult to film. So we're in the living room and I've got everything down here pretty much I think that I need. I've already organised my toiletries, so I'll insert the clips of me doing that now. So these are the two wash bags that I have for my toiletries. I'm just going to give them a little wipe with my Dettol wipes because I didn't clean them after I got back from Morocco and they get a bit like greasy and gross with like sun cream and stuff in. So let's just give them a nice clean before I put all new toiletries in here. This one is from Kate Somerville and it was just kind of gifted I think with some Kate Somerville products so I can't link these down below but any like clear plastic thing will work. These ones are clear because I like to be able to see where everything is so like if I'm opening that up I can see exactly what's in there not rummaging through a huge bag and then this one is from Bondi Sands again was gifted I think with some products in so can't link it but this is the one that I use for main toiletries and then the smaller one I actually use for my carry-on because I like to take skincare with me on the plane especially if it's a morning flight and this one is a morning flight that we're going on so let's start with the smaller pouch which is for hand luggage. I don't know if everything that I've got here is going to fit but we'll give it a go. First up I've got my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Absolute essential whether you're going on a hot or cold trip. Obviously this one's cold but it's just fantastic. You put it on lips, eyebrows, any part of your skin that's dry and I've got a feeling I might get a little bit dry in the cold. SPF obviously I've got SPF 50. This one is the perfect size from Beauty Pie. I've got my Cordially Vino Perfect, Reserva Troll Lift, and I've got a little mist as well, the Beauty Elixir. I think my skin will probably get dry on the plane and need like a little spritz. Then for the plane journey, I have got some eye masks. This is where they're from. I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce that name. Can you even see it in the camera? There you go. Not doing a very good job of packing this, am I? Oh well. And then I have a antibacterial sanitizer because of course you need that on the plane, cleansing wipes and a pack of tissues as well. There we go, look, all fits really nice. It doesn't look great, does it, with the tissues on the top? Let me swap them around. Oh, and then one final thing, my little mini nail file, just in case a nail breaks. And there we go, there is the hand luggage. All of these obviously are under 100 mil. That one definitely is, isn't it? Yes, 50 mil, just checking. Yeah, all of these obviously under 100 mil and it's good to have them in a clear wallet as well because sometimes you don't need to take them out. Sometimes you do, um, it depends kind of 
on the situation but sometimes if you're going through security this will be enough so this is going in my hand luggage and then this one is going to have a few more bits in it so big things in first i want to take my tan lux water uh, just in case i want to top up my tan whilst i'm there i haven't got one that's already open annoyingly so i'm gonna have to take this one and i just pack it like in the mid like that so hopefully it doesn't leak anywhere razor just got my estrid one and then for cleansers i've got my pro collagen cleansing balm and my kate somerville goat milk i always like to double cleanse with a balm and then a foamy cleanser so that's those two got a couple of face halos my headband which has been freshly washed which is lovely and then my elements flannel as well i have my tan Lux face drops these are the light to medium i normally wear medium to dark but because this is a little mini one i'm gonna take this ren overnight recovery balm such a nice moisturizing hydrating overnight treatment so i'm gonna take that with me as well and then i also have my perfumes i'm gonna take my mfk 724 and i'm also going to take this little rose of no man's land by byredo hopefully these will be okay in there and then toothbrush and toothpaste and obviously everything like that will go in the day before so there's a little bit of room in there which is perfect and i also organized my hand luggage so i'll pop that in as well because i'm taking a gorgeous bag i'm not taking my key pool this year I normally take that when I go away and that's quite big and I can fit a lot in but I just wanted something a bit smaller this time so here's what I'm taking my hand luggage this is my carry-on bag it's the Pauline bag that I showed in my latest vlog and it's such a good size for carry-on there is so much room in there and this little wallet here I'm using kind of as my travel pouch so in here I've got my eye mask for the plane I've got actual face coverings which I probably don't really need passport and my card holder so that's where all the important things go in there and I just like to have them all together and easy to get to so that's fantastic that I've got that in there and then packing my Celine Trion handbag this is the only kind of small handbag that I'm taking with me it works well for during the day and in the evening so I'm taking that obviously in my carry-on because nothing's happening to that then my headphones I'm taking my AirPod Maxes which I'm very excited to use on the plane and then I have my toiletry bag. I'm actually going to put this hand cream in there as well. That's the one thing I forgot. This is a new one that I got sent from Dior, which I'm so excited to try. So that can squeeze in there perfectly. And the only other thing I'm going to keep in my hand luggage is my jewellery. So I've just popped this in a random pouch that I found in my jewellery box, but I've got a few extra pairs of earrings and um, a couple of bracelets in there as well that I want to take to wear at some point. And then that is my carry on bag everything packed nicely and very easy to carry as well on my shoulder. So that is all ready to go. If you haven't watched my packing videos before, then what I like to do is to plan my outfits in advance. I haven't done that as much this time because we're only going for a short time. We're only going for five days and it's not really like a content trip. The clothing is a bit more practical than fashionable, should we say. I did make a little Canva board and I did prep some outfits, so I kind of already had in my mind some looks that I wanted to create. So it did make things a lot easier when getting everything out today. I've tried all of these pieces on as well, so I know that they fit right, they look right, and this is exactly what I will be wearing. I have previously just packed what I think will look nice, got to the holiday destination, tried it on and thought, this doesn't look right together or this is uncomfortable. So it is always good if you have the time and if you care that much to try things on before you get there. So that is what I've done this morning. And when I talk through all the items that I have here, I will insert the try-on clips as well because I did film them so you guys can see what the pieces look like on. Obviously, this is my first time skiing. So there's a lot of things that I have bought new and a lot of like bulky, expensive things. So I'm not sure how this is all going to fit in my suitcase. I'm gonna try my best, but we may have to forego some things. As well as prepping my outfits on Canva and trying them on, I have also made a kind of tick list on the Notes app on my phone of pieces that I need to take. And I've put literally every single item down to like the specific 
skincare product that I want to take so I know I'm not missing anything I'll do a last minute list as well of things that I need to put in the suitcase kind of the morning before or the morning of the flight so nothing is missed I'm not flying from London which I normally do every time I go away I always fly from London so I'll always like go straight from my house because it's close but we're actually flying from Bournemouth because EasyJet fly straight into Geneva so we're doing that instead so I have to get everything kind of packed and ready to travel down to Bournemouth the night before which I don't normally do so I feel like I have to be extra organized I know a lot of people say that they don't like packing or they don't enjoy it I love packing I absolutely love it I feel like my organized queen comes out of me and I just find it so much fun. Plus if you're packing you're more than likely going on holiday so it's exciting. So today is going to be quite a fun day I think for me anyway and hopefully this is a fun video for you guys to watch. I'm going to show you the bits that I have now and insert the try on clips and then you can see me struggle to fit it in the case. So these are my daytime outfits as you can see here I have a white ski suit. This one is from Zara. Really nice, like full length ski suit. I was just going to have one ski outfit. I was just going to go for black salopettes and the black jacket like I have there. But I really just wanted a white ski suit. So I treated myself. Got this one from Zara. I already had a gift voucher. So it didn't cost me like full price. But I just think this is really chic. It's got the cute little belt. Obviously I'm gonna wear thermals underneath it, but I've tried it on, it is super warm. Also comes with this to pop it in, which I think is really good, so I will do that. So that's outfit number one. I then have this black look. So we have here black salopettes. I got these from Bo and T. Really nice, just plain black salopettes with like the braces at the top. They're really comfy, really nice fit. I just got my normal size. And then to go with this jacket, which I adore. Door. it's so nice because it kind of looks like it's velvet but it's not it's just like a shiny material semi cropped as well this was actually from Jack Wills I got a H&M one a little while ago but it was a bit big and I just wanted something more fitted so yeah I ordered this one from Jack Wills and I absolutely love it so a really nice all black look there and then here I have this Après Chic jumper which my mum bought me for Christmas from H&M so it's probably not still available but I thought I'd just wear this probably with some black leggings I could even wear it under maybe the ski jacket for a day of skiing put it with my moon boots as well these are like the tall all black moon boots which I'm obsessed with and then I'm also going to pack a cream outfit so I've just got this cream a pretty lavish jumper and then I thought I'd take my cream Adenola set so I've got the cream leggings and the cream sports bra in case I want to do some working out or something then I've got a sports bra and leggings and then I've also got these boots from Inuki. Inuki, I think that's how you say it. Super cute, really nice and soft and cozy. I've had these for about a year, but just haven't been able to wear them. So definitely taking these with me. And then the black leggings can go with that jumper. So obviously this is my suitcase, packing cubes here. And then on the floor, those are my toiletries that you saw me pack earlier. We have a few kind of accessories here. I've got my snud, just a plain black one. I think I got this from Amazon. Celine Beanie and then this cute little fuzzy hat that I got from Primark that's the hood to my jacket I've then got these cream earmuffs and some black earmuffs as well I bought a new headband because mine was covered in makeup so I've got a plain black headband there I've got these heat tech tops from Uniqlo, which are incredible. This is the one that I wore on my skiing lesson. So that's why it's out the packet, but these are them just nice long sleeve roll neck tops, actually so thick and warm. When I wore this on my skiing lesson, I wore this and my ski jacket over the top and I was absolutely boiling by the end. So, so hot. So they are really, really good. I then got a couple of pairs of the Heat Tech socks, the black and the white, and then these are like my long ski socks that go way up to my knee. A couple more basic thermals there. Pajamas. I've got my socks, underwear and swimmers because there is a spa in our hotel. And then I have gloves. I have these which are my main gloves which I'm gonna wear. These ones I've got but they're way too big so they're gonna go back. But yeah these are my main gloves. I've got a little touch as well on them which is so good. 
And then I've got leather gloves as well for maybe the evening if I don't need my ski gloves. In here I have my helmet and my goggles which I'll get out and show you guys in a minute. And then here we have evening outfits. So I've got this grey set from Pretty Lavish. Really nice like dark grey knitted skirt. It's got a split at the side. Elasticated waist, so super comfy. And then just an oversized high neck jumper. Thought this would be perfect for the evening really cozy and comfortable as well and then i've got this dress again from pretty lavish how comfortable and cozy does this dress look i mean it's a gorgeous cream cable knit really nice and oversized and baggy so i can eat all the cheese fondue and it's just going to be perfect for the evening then this dress is from zara i actually got this before christmas but i've never worn it it's just a really beautiful long sleeved long kind of like pleated black dress really really nice so I thought this would be a slightly dressier look and all of these three looks go with just my plain Dior heels so I thought I'd take them I was going to take some knee-high boots to be a bit different but they're going to take up more room and I'll just go with the plain swim back so I think that's easier and then final evening look we have this really beautiful jumper from Nili Lotan and I love it it is just so soft gorgeous really amazing quality and then my cream trousers from Theory. And I thought I'd probably just wear Uggs or snow boots with this look. And if I wanted to wear Uggs or snow boots with any of these looks, then I could as well. But I'm just going to take the heels just in case. I should probably mention that we're not travelling out of the hotel to eat. We've got dinner booked in the hotel. So that's why I'm thinking of taking heels. Obviously, I know I'm not going to be walking through Courchevel in high heels. So I have my packing cubes here. And I'm going to use some of the big ones, I think, for obviously my clothes, but I don't know how useful these are going to be because most of the items are quite bulky. So we shall see. I'm going to start with my helmet and my goggles because they are essential, obviously, and I want to stuff the helmet with like underwear and socks and stuff. So both the helmet and the goggles are from Salomon and... I am obsessed with these goggles actually, I think they're so cool. You see them? Yeah, they're just like a mirrored goggle with black strap. And then my helmet is just literally just plain black, not too exciting at all. But my boyfriend and his family maybe, or maybe just me and my boyfriend want to try and make this a regular thing. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. So I thought I may as well buy the gear. Obviously not gonna go the full hog and buy ski boots and my own skis and stuff because that's just unnecessary but helmet I thought would be a good thing to buy. Let's put that in this side. Now I'm going to stuff the helmet. Goggles are going in and I'm just going to put my underwear and socks in as well. And then the other things that need Stuffing, moon boots in particular. Let's take these tags off. Definitely keeping them. Everything fits in quite nicely. I did use these packing cubes for like my leggings, jumpers, and evening outfits. Salopettes and my ski suit are kind of folded down there. Obviously, stuffed everything into my helmet. Sorry, maybe was just squeaking her toy. You want to play? I'll play with you in a minute, okay? And then this side is just a bit of a mismatch of everything, boots, shoes, accessories, and then I just placed my jacket over the top. Luckily, this is able to squidge down quite a bit, so I can get this, doesn't look like it right now, but I can get this looped over, and then I just tried it, and it does close, woohoo. So, I think that is everything. I have a couple more bits to add later on. I'm gonna take my hair straighteners. I'll throw it for you. I'll throw it for you. 
I'm going to take my hair straighteners. I'm not going to take my air wrap because Tom is taking his Dyson hair dryer. So I'm just going to take my straighteners to just do the ends instead of taking like every attachment on my air wrap. And then I just have a couple more toiletries to put in and phone charger and watch charger will go in my hand luggage. So I'm going to close this up now and I'm going to leave it down here and then I can just put those extra bits in nearer the time but I'm ready to go I'm feeling very excited now I do need to weigh this case though because I have a feeling it will probably be over the limit but it always is this suitcase by the way is from Amazon I'll link it down below uh. there we go uh. Woohoo! So those are all the outfits that I'm taking skiing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them and seeing me pack. Wish me luck. I'll probably be on the slopes right now and hopefully everything is going okay. Like I said, I'll update you guys when I'm home. If you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you could subscribe. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.